Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to achieve intersect operator in MySQL database. So if you execute this query, so at the time getting the error message, so you have error in MySQL uh, syntax. So that means at your intersect operator doesn't support it MySQL. So we have to write in different ways. So let's see. So at your uh, if you execute this query, select a star from EMP1. So this is the record of EMP1 table. And here, uh, so this is the record of EMP2 table. Now hereafter, I'm going to show you what exactly intersect operator. So intersect operator or uh, that return common record between the two tables. So this is the part of EMP1 and this is the part of EMP2. So at here the common part. Uh, so this is the place where the other common part. So whatever the common record, so that returned by using intersect operator. So intersect operator doesn't support. So how can we achieve? So for this we need to use inner chat. So let's uh, uh, see the query. So add here. Let's write select. So select uh, ID and your name and your email. email from or table amp1 and hereafter let's write to inner join so about the inner join i already discussed in my uh, previous video so please check that so i do inner join with amp2 now hereafter you write on cross so i have given the condition amp1 dot id equal to emp2 dot id now if you execute to this query so at here i'm getting the error message column id field is ambiguous so at here i'm getting the error message because ID or uh, at here ID is for or uh, EMP1 or EMP2 table, so it, it doesn't recognize. So, so that we have to use we have to write at here give the name of table. So, EMP1.id and here going to use EMP2.id name and here EMP1.email. Now, if you execute. So here I'm getting you. Uh, oh, this is this output ID name email. So and here in this place you can also use a star. So if you give add here a star, so this will select all the columns from EMP1 and EMP2. So this is the things and this is the output. So intersect operator generally return unique record so right here this is the microsoft sql server management studio so if you use at your intersect operator so the same record there so intersect operator return unique record but here i'm getting the duplicate record and here after let's uh, okay at here so emp1 that come from id so i'm going to select emp1 from id emp2 from name and here emp1 from email so you can also give emp1 from me whatever you like now here after if you execute then here i'm getting the or duplicate or record so intersect operator generally return unique record so that here or to achieve intersect so we have to use distinct keyword now here after let's execute this query so see that here thousand to call call at the gmail.com so this is the common record between EMP1 and EMP2. So see at here EMP1. So this is the record inside EMP1 and here 1002 twice times and this is the uh, 1002 at here and here after so 1002. So 1002 is the common record. So by using intersect operator, so intersect operator return only a common record between the tables. So these are the things about intersect operator. So this is the way. 
So by using init join, we can achieve intersect operator output. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.